that. So it looks like they've come out behind behind this tree right here. There they are. So instead of coming out in this corner right here like they usually do, they came out behind that tree and went across that field. There's another bean field over there, so that's uh, good to know for sure. This is why we scout. Here we are guys, it's opening weekend of the Kentucky 2021 deer season for archery and I am jacked. We're sitting over this bean field um, that is cornered to an alfalfa field. I have permission to shoot on both sides. Um, I've been watching this bachelor group use the beans for several weeks prior to season. Um, several good deer in there. Uh, two shooters I'm really after. A uh, pretty big seven pointer and a pretty big nine pointer. Um, so you guys come along with me. Let's see if we can put anything down tonight. that oh my god I drilled it I drilled it go down baby go down baby oh my god go down go down go down go down come on 
Do this. Guys, I just smoked a big seven pointer. I'm pretty sure it looked a little low. Oh my gosh, I hope he. I'm not liking the way he reacted afterwards, but I mean, he plowed the ground when he took off. Dude. Dude, big buck down. <laughs> nice, dude. Did you see him fall? I saw. Okay, so here's the thing. And when he took off, he was chest diving. Like his chest was in the ground. And he was dragging his chest across the ground as fast as he could. And then stood back up, up against the fence right over here. By and then stood there for about less than a minute. And then, and then slowly walked to the left. And then I, lost, I couldn't see him no more. But I know he's got to be hurting. Yeah, that's not good, dude. Dude, I just ripped my $90 on Tom's <laughs> pants. <laughs> that's not in the budget, bro. I'm pissed. Here's the. There's quite a bit of penetration. So, he's spraying blood. Is he? Yeah. Dude, yeah. it's watery. What would that mean? Are you getting worried yet? Unfortunately, we're going to back out. Damn, blood was very good though. That's what. I don't know if it's a one lung, but I don't. I don't really know what it is. I'm very curious to see. Uh, he's bleeding quite a bit, but we got, like I said, about 200 yards in. Lost blood for quite some time. Jacob was able to pick it back up, and then right about when he picked it up. I was up ahead of him a little ways, and we heard a pretty big body deer come up out of a bed and take off, so we're going to back out. Unfortunately, I hate to do this, especially during the early season here in Kentucky. It's so warm, but uh, he's not dead, so I can't I can't track a, a live deer, so we're going to back out. That sleepless night, I'm going to come back in the morning. Um, unfortunately, we got rain coming, too, so I'm going to try to keep an eye on the radar and and uh, try to beat the rain. So. Well, guys, uh, as you can tell, we didn't recover the deer. Um, it was, uh, I'm assuming, a marginal. Well, at the time, we, we were assuming it was a marginal hit. Um, we followed blood for about 200 yards, 250 yards, and uh, it was good blood. But... Uh, when we got in there, it it, it kind of uh, kind of started getting a little watery and, and a little more spotty, but it was you know there's still plenty of blood in there, and uh, so we kept trucking on uh, against my against my best judgment. I should have backed out backed out. Came back in the next morning. Me and my wife grid searched uh, because a huge rain shower came in about three or four in the morning. Unfortunately for us, didn't even see it on the radar the night before, but sure enough, it came in and uh, washed all the blood away. Long story short, have a uh, have a gentleman I hunt out there with. I just mustered, sucked up my pride and told him, you know, it's, uh, I told him I said everything. I said I, I shot him the shot. Um, told him where the last blood was, dropped him a pen, and sure enough, he stumbled upon him. It, it's good to have the closure um, that I knew what happened. Am I happy with the way it turned out? Absolutely not. Um, I hate that the deer, for one, got wasted. Um, there was nothing left uh, other than the, the rack, especially a target buck. Um, it, was, uh, it was pretty difficult to deal with. You know, I lost a lot of sleep over it. Um, stressed me out quite a bit. So here he is. Here's the, here's the big seven. Uh, really good bases on this deer. Um, Base measurement on this was five and a quarter, so uh, had pretty good mass on him. And he just he grew like this year after year. Just never could, never would grow a normal side on his left hand side there. But really, really good deer, mature deer. And that uh, basically wraps up the story of the the velvet, the big velvet seven.